Hey everybody. We are having a look at my Diamond Tetras in my 55 gallon tank here in the fish room. And it's been interesting to watch over the last, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so that I've been kind of in and out of the room keeping my eye on things. And the reason I say that is because I finally got the fish that were in my office tank. I had some Diamond Tetras in that tank. Uh, and it's an open top tank and I was having issues with losing them. They were jumping out. And so I decided to bring them back and put the uh, smaller ones back here in the tank where I got them from. I had four fry that actually survived to be big enough for me to catch them out of the tank. And that's when I took them upstairs and put them in my office tank. But again, now that they're full grown, uh, they've been jumping out of the tank. And I did manage to save one at one point. It jumped out while I was there. And I was able to scoop it back up and get it back in the tank. But I did find another one. And there was no saving that. It was, you know, it was like freeze-dried. It was, there was no saving that one. So, I got the remaining three back here in the tank. And now, I'm curious as to what we're seeing. Are we seeing sort of a reestablishment of the pecking order? Or are we seeing spawning behavior? Because I believe... These two little ones up here that are kind of keeping to themselves are two of them. Not really sure why the two are there and not the third one, but I believe those two smaller ones there are the two that just got introduced into the tank. So if there's going to be some pecking order issues and a reestablishment of all that, I would kind of think it would start with them almost rather than these larger, more elaborate fish that are already well established fighting amongst themselves. So what this normally looks like to me is that either spawning behavior or the pre-spawning behavior where they're just kind of sorting out who's the prettiest male and all that kind of stuff. And once they've sorted out their issues, then they'll start pairing off between the males and the females. I have had people say that the shorter finned ones are the females and the more elaborate long finned ones are the males. I don't believe that's the case. I believe I bought these at two different occasions and I believe I got long fin diamond tetras on one of those occasions and the other time I just got regular old diamond tetras. I have actually seen them pair off and go into the um, vegetation which is what they do when they're laying their eggs or they're scattering their eggs. They go into the vegetation as a pair. They scatter their eggs sort of inside the plant, you know, sort of in the leaves of the bush and then they shoot back out when they're done. And I've seen them pair off enough times and do that to know that it's not a short finned one and a long finned one on all occasions. Sometimes it is, but it's just as likely to be two long finned ones that will pair off. So I'm not exactly sure if that holds true with the short fins being the females and the long fins being the males. Again, I don't believe that to be the case. So, last thing I will point out is you can see the mouth of my pleco right there. Don't normally get the underside view unless he's hanging on the glass, but it is hanging in the Anubius in an odd sort of position. Again, its mouth is kind of facing us, and I'm not sure where the rest of its body goes. I guess it goes off uh, towards the back of the tank. You can't really see it through all that. But I'm guessing he's in there draped down this way, and that's why we can't see the rest of his body. So, all right, everybody, i got to get on with the rest of my afternoon. Don't know what I've got in store today or if we'll be getting any more uh, work done here in the fish room. I did want to shoot this video, though, now that I have gotten those fish out of my office tank. I know a lot of people were wondering uh, if or when I was going to get around to doing that. And so I just wanted to get some video shot here, show you that all is good, and we might even be having some more spawning behavior so who knows cross your fingers i just did a big water change on this tank a few days ago so maybe i did trigger that uh spawning behavior with all that fresh water going in there again you never know so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed once again i will recommend diamond tetras to anybody that can find them and has a slightly larger tank i would not recommend them for a 10 or probably even a 20 long is probably the bare 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 minimum uh you would want them in once they're full grown and especially if you've got a larger school like I do you're probably going to want something a little larger than that but if you can find them and you've got the appropriate tank size I absolutely recommend getting these diamond tetras one of my favorite fish 
just love them. So one day we'll get some lemon tetras in here too, because I'd love to get some of those. I've seen those for years. I've always wanted them, and I've never actually purchased any. So I think some lemon tetras in this tank with some diamond tetras would be awesome. So make sure you're subscribed. You never know what you're going to get with me. Don't forget this one here is my 55-gallon tank. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.